about the implementation of Aqualung, a new form of autonomous underwater vehicle. Uh, they are the student and the developer in this system for the SAUVC. And uh, this presentation will be given by the M Fund from the AUST. Thank you very much. Okay, for the buoyancy force, we can say that uh, here comes the 2.8 liter 
uh, basically is the measurement of the PVC of the motor using shaft with the proper propeller. So in this PC system, we have just uh, calculated the individual uh, instrument and total sum of the whole things. So basically, um, we have for the computer vision, we have used the Optimus uh, Rasi Plus 4 and the uh, PM280 is basically a uh, air pressure sensor. So we have used a general bottle of SIGA. This has a rigid surface. So uh, by covering up the balloon, whenever it is just waterproof, we put the sensor up there. So whenever uh, we have attached the bottle with the balloon under the water, it got the pressure on the water. So basically in the beginning, it has some air pressure, but whenever it is close to the water, it has some pressure from the uh, underwater pressure actually. So we have take the data and calibrate with it, and I, then we get the actual measure uh, of the water pressure and we can calculate the depth too. So the final outcome is the balancing with uh, HMC5883, which is basically a, a, a format of gyro sensor. So um, it has a good power backup of 40 minutes, and uh, we have put the motors in 60 angle as I have seen in the video of Apollo. So basically for the vectorial direction, it puts some extra effort to go forward, right side, left side, and the reverse direction too. And now uh, we have used a PC to this state down circuit for the safety purpose that can, uh, can uh, control the voltage and to regulate for the overproduction circuit. Okay, different parameter voltage. We have, as we said, that used, uh, using the DC gear motor, we have to calculate actually how it reacts soil when it goes under water. So, first of all, we have fed a lot of times uh, and uh, it has some uh, instrument kind issue, you know, uh, whenever it's just uh, goes under water, it started to drain the current uh, so much instantaneously and so much fast. So, uh, the, for the over for not using the overproduction circuit, it uh, becomes just destroyed. So, we have calculated lots of time, then we can see that it is inversely proportional to the torque with the RPM. So, we have calculated that whenever it has a full uh, loaded torque, uh, then uh, it, this velocity is too much low. Okay, so altimeter versus pressure, we have, uh, as I already said, that uh, we have calculated the Pascal actually, and we measuring the Pascal, we have gave, uh, we have uh, also got the altimeter in centimeter, and we measured it with the bottle of sugar and using just a balloon. Okay, so here's the different coordinates. We just, uh, when we were using the sensor, we just uh, lock the total uh, axis and uh, by fixing the one axis then we have got different values from uh, like if I fix the x axis then we have got different values from y and z axis so by that we can actually calculate that how it reacts in water by balancing the weight so it's a basic circuit diagram that uh, we have used in our power AOV and uh, see this is a for the power line uh, we use the power supplies for the battery fire and uh, for the other system, the repo and the computer circuit supplies to the other components. Okay, so basic diameter of the structural PVC, and uh, we have already shown the diameter of the right side because we have focused on the uh, basic dimensions and the total outcome. Because uh, if we don't uh, calculate the dimensions and the total measurement, we might be face a lot of issues rather than we have faced earlier. So, yes, we have some competitive advantage. Like, yeah, uh, we have, uh, you know, there's a the bindings in projects. So, a uh, robot which is under uh, $260 to $280 is just, uh, we can imagine in our country because uh, we are the engineering students. So, we have to think about the reverse engineering that we got in our area. So, uh, we just customize the products and uh, take the best challenges as we can take from that components. So we uh, try to make it easy maintenance and obviously it's a low power consumption device and capable of performing critical movements, not so far as the robots or the other robots, but it's quite good. Yes, we have some challenges in gold level to resist pressures and balancing water is also one of the most challenging things for us. So uh, let's wrap up the whole thing that in conclusion that uh, yeah, it can stand in excess pressure like as I said earlier that uh, Robots are 6,000 that it goes under the 6,000 meter. At that time, that PVC robot will not exist because the water pressure is too much high and the PVC cannot fight with that 
pressure actually so it can be destroyed or something damages can happen so this is our drawbacks actually but uh, because of being lightweight dancing in the water is challenging but stabilizing during construction it runs smoothly so despite having this disadvantages uh, the proposal is very liquid because uh, we have intense range of features actually and we have uh, made for the south easily and uh, uh, hopefully drawbacks can be looked in uh, future research so thank you and thanks to every citizen and that's all that we got. Congratulations on building a functioning AUV for under three hundred dollars. That's that's quite impressive. Um, not clear to me. Must have maybe I missed something. Your PVC pipes are they air filled or are they fully flooded? Okay, uh, this is was uh, in whenever in just practical speed or just out of the water, it is fully filled with air. But by making some drinks on it. Whenever it just goes under the water, the water is passed throughout all the level. That right. it is easy to maintain and steam the underwater <coughs> construction or work dancing. Right, so once one minute minutes of operation, the tubes are fully flooded. Yes. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, okay. Um, so if the tubes are fully flooded and it's in, underwater, why, what is the PVC that is seeing pressure that limits its depth? Sorry, what's the question again, please? Um, you said its depth is limited by the pressure the PVC can withstand. Okay. okay. Uh, so uh, we have calculated that uh, it goes uh, not less than 50 meters, so it's our utmost range is about 50 meters. So under the 50 meters, uh, if we uh, get in something uh, that is not we were expecting, so we think that that's our actual limit is about the 50 meters, so our range is only 50 meters. Thank you. And the subcontinent country, uh, we can't find the actual acrylic sheet or the angle of the total measurement and the total complex size that is found in a blue or the blue robotics or the remote websites. Uh, so, this is the most challenging part because PVC is easily accessible. As I have said earlier, we are uh, trying to reach to the reverse engineering procedure. So, uh, we found it and we made our own sheet actually, and it is easy to connect and plug. If there are no more questions, we will move to the next presentation. <laughs> 